Welcome to the React Forming tutorial for beginners. My name is Masood and I'm gonna be your instructor. In this video, you're gonna learn how to use Formic library to build forms in React. What you need to know before watching this video in order to fully understand what I'm talking. The first thing is HTML and CSS, modern JavaScript but not advanced, basics of React and a little bit about React hooks. Ok, what is Formic? Formic is the world's most popular open source form library for React and React Native. You can do forms in React without Formic, but you need to take care of lots of things and it can be a repetitive and annoying job for you. Or, if you work with a team, it also helps you to have the same style for every form of your project to avoid developers' mistakes and preferences to make your project messy. So, we are going to use Formic in our project to build forms faster and neater. So, let's start. Imagine that we don't want to use Formic. In this case, we have a register form and for each input in our form, we need to have a variable to hold the state of the form and we have we need to have an unchanged function and other function for doing the validation and we need to repeat it for every input that we have and finally we need a function to just collect the data of every input that we have and do the submit section to send the data to our form but when we use formic we can connect every element of our form to formic library and then formic will control each input for us we don't need to have separate variables for each of elements anymore and it will validate our inputs values and then when the form is submitted he said your form is submitted with these values and they are collected and ready to send it to the server Okay, the first step is installing the library using yarn add formic. It is my uh, fresh React.js project. I just have a register form inside my app.js and it's empty. The first thing is to install using npm or yarn, yarn add formic. Let's build our form. It's a usual form and I'm going to have an input, first of all a label HTML for email and just email address here. One another input and for now, I don't want to specify anything for it. Just copy and paste it for three times and then changing them to password, re-password and changing these ones as well. password again let's just set id and name for these inputs email and copy it Copy the password for this one as well. I also need a button. Type should be submit because I want to, when I click on it, I want to submit my form. So let's set the type to submit and register. Okay, as you can see, my form is added, but we haven't actually uh, connected Formic to our project yet. The first thing is to import use Formic 
from formic library and then we can initialize it in this way const formic equals to use formic hook and then inside the object I should specify the initial values for every uh, input item that we have and on submit function also initial uh, initial values should be another object and then I'm gonna use name of every input that we have be careful that you should use the same name and you cannot use anything else so the name is equal to empty string if you don't write this empty string react is gonna yell at you password and repassword then we need to specify our submit function so on submit it should be actually an error function so it will takes values and then inside the function body for example we can here send the data to the server but to make it simple for you I'm just gonna use an error using JSON making them to JSON string values null and two let's go for this section the first thing that I need to do is to define an unsubmit event handler here and I need to connect it to formic and submit should be formic that we built it here formic dot handle submit and for these inputs I'm gonna set unchange to formic dot handle change and the value also should be set to formic values and then the name of our input which is for this one email address so let's just copy this section and change for this one and this one and change the values re-password password yeah as you can see we have our values inside our JSON object we also need to set the type for the password fields to password in order to show stars instead of the real value so easily you can do it here type should be password and copy and paste it for the other field as well so yeah it works let's go for the validation part in the validation part the first thing that I need is to create a function to take values and return every error that we have so cons validate it's going to be an error function values and then I'm gonna create a new object called errors and set it empty for now why yeah and then just doing the validation simply if we didn't have values that email so errors that email should be required else if 
values that email that length if it was less than five characters then show a message like errors that email should be must be five characters or more so you can simply add every condition that we you have inside this section <laughs> Let me just do a refactoring. Yeah. Do we have anything else? Yes, we should return our errors object. So let's do it. Errors. Wow. Yeah, we don't need semicolon because of my ESLint configuration. And we are going to just attach this function to our use for make object we can add it here and then one thing else is left we need to check do we have any error for this input and show it if there is any error so after each input I'm gonna add a div to show the message let's render it conditionally and check um, for make dot errors dot email so if we had it just render the error for make dot errors dot email otherwise render nothing so put null here copy and paste it to make it faster after this input I also need this for password because my phone size is big I cannot do it fast sorry about it and lastly for this one it should be re-password yeah And I forgot to tell you I have one CSS file which I wrote some CSS rules to make the project and the tutorial faster. So for the error div I need to specify a class name error to just make it red color. Let's try our form. So as you can see, when I add something here, the other forms will be triggered. And since we haven't inserted anything inside them yet, they are warning that these fields are required. And also the validation will be done once again when we click on the register button. Let me just refresh it. So if I click on it, it will be triggered and will check every input that we have but actually when I change some fields I don't want to other fields warn me because they are untouched I want to when I touch them then check for the validation or when I click on the register button go for validation otherwise it should be at the default state so to do this i just need to connect the umbular event of every input to formic how in this way unblur should be formic dot handle blur also for this input then we can check if formic.touched.email 
was true then go and check we have email error or not and again for this one password and repassword basically we are checking that this input is touched or not when we touch this one the unblur event will be called and forming will notice that this form is touched so it will be true and then if we have any errors it will render this section for us otherwise render null it means that we don't have any error so let's test it so let's test it as you can see when i change the values of this input the validation section of other fields won't be triggered and when i click on it it will be triggered for all of them if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel have a nice day